Hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to talk about whether or not you should be learning the graded system or whether or not it, for you it might be the right thing or not. There are lots of teachers who teach the graded system exclusively and they don't want to teach any other way. But there are also some teachers who don't teach the graded system at all or they don't feel comfortable teaching it. And this happens a lot where the student is adhering to what the teacher's ideas are. So if you are someone who is learning the piano and you are weighing up whether you should be learning the grades or not, then hopefully we can have a short chat about it and see if it's for you. So firstly, what is the point in the graded system? Well, the graded system gives you some kind of measuring stick as to how good you are doing in comparison to where you want to be in the future. So if grade A is repertoire pieces. Grade 8 is being able to play the piano and grade 1 is just starting out and getting on the ladder. Then that gives you some sort of measuring stick as to how far you're going to have to go in order to get very good. And this is kind of motivating for some people because they can see if I'm grade 2 now or if I'm grade 3 now I can see I'm going to get to grade 4 then I'm going to get to grade 5 and then before you know it you'll be at grade 8. If you don't do the graded system, it can be quite hard to make yourself motivated enough to get to that point where you will be at grade eight or at that standard at least. And this is the situation where I would do the graded system. And for this, this can be why a lot of teachers go to this system because it is very motivating. However, it can also be a very lazy way of teaching because the pieces that are in a graded book might not target the problems that you have at that particular time in your playing career. The good thing about the grades as a teacher especially is the fact that we know the exact standard that those pieces are actually going to be. So if you're giving a student a piece that's in the grade 2 syllabus for piano then you know that that's definitely going to be of that standard and as a student you know if you can play that piece then you are of that standard which is very useful. And I think for these two things, the motivating factor and knowing exactly what standard you are at they are both a good reason to do the grades on piano. However, there are lots of downfalls to doing grades on the piano, which most people don't talk about because most teachers will just go through them grade by grade. So unless you are doing a jazz grade, you will never in the graded system learn how to improvise. You'll never learn how to work out songs by ear. You will never learn any of the true factors of being a very good musician. You will learn how to read music and you'll also learn how to play classical pieces. And you may even learn some more modern or jazzy ones in the last section if you're doing ABRSM. But for the most part, you are kind of pigeonholed into one type of playing. And that's not the world we live in anymore. There are a lot of people who don't want to learn piano to learn classical pieces. You might want to learn how to play pop pieces. You might want to learn how to write songs. You might want to learn how to do a number of different things that aren't catered for in the graded system. And while it might make you a generally good player and it'll help your reading and all of the rest of it, it won't help you become the musician that you perhaps want to be or associate with the people who can play the piano. When I first started learning the piano, I started learning by ear and I think a lot of people do now with the existence of YouTube and things like that. So I think we should use this to our advantage rather than forgetting it and going back to the old book system. But herein lies the problem because you obviously don't start being able to play the piano. So you need to find things that are of a standard that you can achieve and therefore find your own ladder to success. And this is where you differentiate a good teacher from a bad teacher because a bad teacher will just go on a syllabus that they've set, either that be the grade system or their own version of a syllabus and they will use the cookie cutter method and apply that to every single student they have when in actual fact everyone has different goals everyone has different needs or different things that they're missing in their playing and it's a whole different set of skills for every single person so in answer to the question should you be doing the graded system well that largely depends on what you want to get out of the piano if you want to be good at sight reading and you want to learn some classical pieces and really dig into music and how it's structured and theory, then yes, do the graded system, definitely. However, if you aren't interested in classical music or learning how to understand music, and you just want to be able to play a few things on the piano or play some pop songs, then you only really need a certain amount of information to do that that isn't in that graded system, and you don't want to demotivate yourself. I think everyone needs that information, the theory information that comes with grades, but 
if that's going to come to the detriment of your overall playing, for example, if you just won't want to practice if you are learning that way, then it's just not worth it because enjoying music is the most important thing. And every time you sit down at the piano, you should be inspired to be learning something. So even if you are learning the graded system, this is not the only way that I would learn. You should be learning your graded stuff, but then in between grades, learn some other stuff or learn in other types of ways. Or alongside it, start learning by ear or start learning by working things out on the piano. This will make you a much better all-rounded musician than just learning the graded system. If you have any experience with the graded system or learning piano without the graded system, then let me know in the comments. And before you go on to this video, be sure to hit me with a big like and subscribe, and I will see you next time.